So we are going to talk quickly about wool evaluation. I decided to separate it out from the other information because I just feel like they don't really flow together very well. Um, but wool evaluation is something that's really important in sheep and it's also kind of fun to learn about. So we're going to spend just a little bit of time talking about that. So we first want to talk about some terminology because there's a lot of terminology used um, in relation to wool that we wouldn't understand from just our regular animal science classes. So wool is evaluated as a grease fleece. So this means that um, we're going to weigh the fleece as in its condition when it is shorn before it is scoured. So if you've ever seen a sheep demonstration, they or sheep shearing demonstration, they trim it all off so that it comes off in one big piece. So our wool, our fleece then, is going to be in one big piece and all the dirt in the fleece and the oil is going to be in that fleece. So that weight is very important. We also know that wool has an oil that the sheep produce called lanolin. So this, all of that oil and fleece is weighed together. Then it is scoured. So the scouring process is when that grease and dirt is removed from the wool. So this is scouring is basically just washing the fleece. Then we are going to card the fleece. So in small operations, we have this thing called a wool card, and it's very similar to this brush here. Um, so you will card, you can see that these fine bristles here, they will separate the wool fibers, they'll use it to separate the wool fibers from the other in the others in the wool. So that is a wool card. Um, in large factories, they have much bigger things than just this, but the, I thought I would show you this since we I had one here. And then they're going to comb it. So um, like a hair comb, they're going to separate the noils. So those are the short fibers from the long fibers in the wool. So that's the comb. So once those noils are separated off, they're combined into a continuous strand of parallel fiber, fiber and that is called top. So a lot of terminology there, um, but it should make more sense as we go into this. So then we have some selection criteria when we are actually evaluating a fleece. So our first and most important one is the grease fleece weight. So the heavier that that fleece is, the more wool there is, meaning that it's going to make you more money if it's from your sheep. And so that's a good thing. That's what we want. The yield is our second most important uh, factor. And that is just the estimation of the percentage of clean fibers obtained after the scouring process. So if it's a relatively clean fleece, it doesn't have a lot of dirt and caked on mud, um, that is going to yield higher wool um, because sometimes in that overall grease fleece weight, we're going to have dirt chunks and those are obviously going to weigh more than if there isn't any dirt. So the yield then removes all that dirt and takes the actual percentage of clean fibers that could be used. Third, we have our staple length. And our staple length um, or staple is a lock of individual fibers. So if we were to take and press on our fleece, um, I will judge just a few times, so I'm not an expert at all, but if we press on our fleece and we pull out a little piece of the fibers, we're going to get a staple. And that staple length, how long that may be, we want it to be long because the longer it is, the better we can spin it into yarn or use it um, for clothing. So long wools are more valuable because there's more wool there. Our fourth most important item is our character. So character kind of is a broad term. It is just basically how attractive the wool is. So we look at crimp in this one, and crimp is just how wavy the fiber of wool would be. I have a picture coming up in the next few slides to help you understand that. And then the color and condition. So if it's a really bright 
um, the fleece. We like that better than a really dirty dark fleece and the condition. So again, how clean it is. And then finally, our fifth criteria is fiber strength. So if we take that same little staple that we took out just a minute ago and we pull on it, it's going to not break because we don't want a brittle, um, broken um, staple. We want some a really long, strong one so that it can be, again, woven and less noils are created. So how strong it is is going to be the grade or relates very closely to the grade and the grade is how fine in diameter the wool is. So I have a picture coming up that explains that better. So here, if we were at a wool judging contest, we would have four different fleeces. And the first thing that we wanna do is just pick them up and weigh them. Um, this is our grease fleece weight. Like I said, it's our number one criteria. So we wanna find the heaviest one. So we're just gonna go through and pick up all four of these and find the heaviest one. Um, so this is what we would see a fleece looking like. So this came off of one sheep. It was sheared and it hasn't been scoured or cleaned yet. This picture does a better job of showing us some staple length as well as um, our crimp and how strong it could be. So you can see here, this is our diameter. Oh, let me get my highlighter here. So this is how big around the piece of wool is if we were to look at it like this. This is how wavy our wool is. So if we were to lay it down and look at it, how wavy it is. So this is a small diameter, very wavy. This is a big diameter, not very wavy here. And then the smaller and wavier it is, the stronger it's going to be when we pull it like this. So there are just a few um, different examples of the crimp and the diameter. So I just wanted to give you a little overview of wool evaluation. Um, we're not going to do an assignment along with this, but I just wanted to get on and talk about what wool evaluation may um, pertain to. And there's like wool judging teams in colleges that you can be a part of. So if you are interested in this, um, this is definitely something that you can pursue in the future.